I'd like to direct my question to Mr. Allen, if I may. <laughs> Mr. Allen, do you think that the Israelis should give back the land that they won from the Arabs? Should the Israelis give back the land they won? No, I don't think so. I think that they should sell it back. <laughs> Do you have a, a view of the Arab-Israeli situation, the entire Middle East situation? Well, not, nothing too novel. The, um, I think eventually the Arab countries will get around to recognizing that Israel is going to be around for a while, and that when that happens, uh, salubrious juices will... From the Latin, the salubrious, isn't it? <laughs> nothing. Nothing, yes. It'll happen. And, uh, so, and you think that eventually, in time, the situation is going to work itself out? Yeah, it'll get tranquilized in time, I, I, I suspect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, sometimes, curious thing, uh, wars do settle things. It's, it's very unfashionable to suppose that they do. But the Israeli situation is an excellent example of where a war does situate uh, Israeli claims in a more viable way. Mm -hmm. they were, they, this, is, this was the third time around, this last contest, uh, and uh, Israel has accomplished something. So it is wrong, as I say, as I say to, to suppose that wars never do accomplish uh, anything. Sometimes, they, in fact, they do. It's a messy way to do it, but on the other hand, uh, it is a way that... Uh, uh, it, it is a way that accomplishes certain things that some people want very much to accomplish, for instance, Israeli independence.